Have it ever happened to you that you had an mp4 file which was corrupted and could not be played back? Well, it certainly happened to me, but editor found a way to fix this. So I'm happy to present you in this episode a way of fixing corrupted mp4 files. So what we have to do in order to make this work, we need a working file and a broken file, so our software can compare the both and figure out what the broken file is missing from the working file. In this case, I already got those two files and I named them broken mp4 and working mp4, so the broken one cannot be played, not even with the VLC player, and you know, if VLC cannot play it, yeah, we might have a problem. So second, we need two pieces of software. The link to those two pieces of software are in the video description below, so go ahead and download them. Once you download them, create a work directory. In my case, I'm calling it recover. Extract the two software pieces inside there. So we go to the ffmpeg, go inside this folder, copy those files, paste them inside the recovery, and do the same with the recover underscore mp4. Go to our work directory and place them inside bin. So those two text files don't need to be here, they are just the documentation for the tool, so you can delete them. So next, for our own convenience, we are going to place our media files also inside the bin folder. We got the broken file and the working file, and now it's time to start up a command prompt. So to do that, to your start menu and type CMD and then do a right click and run as administrator. Yes, we need to run this as an administrator, otherwise it could happen that the tools are not able to read or write the files properly. So once we've started the command prompt, we need to change our work directory to the work directory we just created. So I'm going to copy the path of our newly created work directory and place this inside my command prompt. I type cd for change directory slash d for drive because I'm changing from the C drive to the Y drive. Press enter and I'm inside our newly created work directory. If I do a list of the files inside, we can see we are now in this folder. On to the fixing stuff. So first of all, we need to analyze the working file to figure out what a healthy file is. So in order to do this, we have to type in the name of our executable, which is recover underscore mp 4 exe um, do a space and then give the first option, which is the working file. In my case, that's working.mp4. Then the last option is minus minus analyze and this will analyze this file. So we hit enter. Okay, so now the software is telling us what to do next. And at this place, please follow the on-screen directions of your software, not of this video. Because if you have a different OBS setup or a different camera, the comments might not be the same as shown here. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to copy this entire message and paste them into a notepad so I can get to them later. Now run the following comment to start recovering. Okay, so we are going to run the utility again. So in this time we're telling him which the broken file is and tell him to extract the H.264 stream as well as the audio stream. And now it's running and depending on how big your file is, it can take some time. So in my case, it took me almost five minutes to do this. So what we have to do now is we have to use the FFmpeg encoder to bundle those two streams together to a new MP4 container again. So we are going back to our notepad where we had the exact string we need to do and paste it inside. So what this is basically doing, it's taking the FFmpeg encoder and is telling him to take the results H.264 stream as well as the audio stream to rebundle it in a new mp4 file which is called results.mp4. So we're going to hit enter and now we have to wait again. All right, so the encoding is done. Let's see if our newly created .mp4 container is working. And double click the container. And our live stream is recovered. This file was basically not able to be played back or be edited at all because it was a broken container. Okay guys, so let me know, have you had this problem ever before? And were you able to recover it? Or did I bring just new lights to your older projects? Let me know in the comment section below. This is Greenbox and this is the end card. If you click here, you can watch the latest video. If you click down there, you can watch a video YouTube thinks you might like. If you like this video, hit like, share the video and consider subscribing. Thanks for watching. I'm out. Bye.